You want me to visit sometime? Well, you know, I'm a very busy person. I've got so much filming to do. Yes, yes, Marcus. Yes. What? Why are you being so stupid? What do you mean? You need to protect your phone. What? Yeah, that's what we're going to talk about today. Oh, well, let's start the show. I don't know, what do you mean I was being stupid with my phone? I was just talking. Do you know that there has been an increasing incidence of mobile phones being snatched and oh. bags in the recent years? Mm -hmm. And it has more than doubled since 2023. Maybe I should be more careful then. So where are these statistics coming from, Paul? The police. Oh, the police. Right. We have so, to take it seriously then. So it is an epidemic and the year to date, there have been 80,000 in England and Wales alone, up from 30,000. So initially, you are a bit shocked by the whole event. And what do you mean when your phone's stolen? Yeah. So these incidents normally occur on motorbikes or drive-bys less than 1% have been charged for these crimes. So wait, I guess the best thing to do is prevention. So the best thing to do is not to be walking not around hold your the phone. street with your phone, and talking I see to someone, or even texting, or I guess if you're looking for directions, well, there's not much you can do about it. Or is there, Paul? So getting the prevention out there is important and it could happen to anyone especially in big cities like London, mm. coming out of public transport and even using your phone to check for directions. That's what I was You saying. are a bit... Um, vulnerable? Vulnerable for these... Snatches? Like it's more likely that it will happen to you. Oh, right. Okay. So is there anything else that we can do if you, let's say, have to have your phone out in public? So there are... Organized crimes that target individuals and they may extort you if you have nudes or other okay. type of uh, material on your phone. Are you suggesting I've got nudes on my phone? No, phone? I'm not. And you wouldn't want to see me nude, that's for sure. <laughs> so, so I would say that it would be better for you if your phone was locked. So if... Well, mine they, is locked. I've got a code on it. No, you mean like, something else? So, that. so let's just say someone stole my phone and it was locked. And then the worst that they could do is just sell my phone for body parts. But if your phone was unlocked, then they can monetize that data and try to go into your bank accounts. Um, just let me stop you there. Your like, digital wallet. Yeah, I know this is a serious spend subject. Spend on credit cards. Oh, but look... I'm not sure what direction this is going because you've already said that there could be nudes in my phone and then you're saying that I could be sold for body parts? <laughs> well, anything could happen. So they would try to go into your settings and then they would try to change your passcode. So then they would also try to disable any security settings that you would have. So what can we do to stop this? So, so I am going to paint the picture of what probably will happen. So they would try to hack into your social media accounts and make fraud attempts. Um, most- Well, buy I'm, things. Yeah, so then they would like, like reach Facebook out to people. Like marketplace, that sort of thing. Instagram, stuff like that. So most iPhones do have anti-theft software. And I think that it's also important to turn on your location setting and you could identify where your phone is. So wait a minute, is this only for iPhones? What about Android? I think that I will get to that shortly. Oh, okay, because I've got an Android, you see. <laughs> Most phones would screen lock after 30 seconds. So then I think it's also important to not change that setting to increase the, mm, the time, the duration. Mm. And it's also important to not use your date of birth and do not use the same pin for everything. But I think that I'm guilty oh, of that, that yeah. I use the same pin for everything. So I need to get on that right away. 
Well, I've started using different pins for different things. So I guess maybe I'm doing things a little bit better now. So it is really important to tell your family and friends about this fraud to prevent any of them from being approached by the perpetrator to try to get money off them. So that's what we're doing today, spreading the word, right? So, so yes, of course. So when your SIM is locked, so when you say to the operator that it's locked, that it is impossible to use it in any of the UK networks, it will flash as stolen on the stolen phone register. So you have to contact your network to get them to lock yeah. the SIM, right? So then this is called the GSM standard. So then this is when they would, um, phones would be barred from usage. Um, However, your mobile SIM would be able to be used abroad. Ooh. So, so yeah, it, you could still fall victim to it. So it's not a fail safe. No, it's not. And it's also not wise to hold your phone in your hands walking by. Oh, that's what I was doing. So this is much better to keep in your bag or just read a book on the tube. Yeah. I would not recommend having your phone on a lander either because they could easily snatch it, but then it's less um, grab and go because it's around your neck. Although having said that, couldn't they try to strangle you with it? <laughs> I'm just thinking of every eventuality. So I think the point of the matter is to really think about it. Your life is on your phone and mm. if, so if you lost it, do you know what you're going to do? Do you know your passcode and can you log on to another person's computer and reset your settings? No, I don't know how to do that. So the first thing that you can do is you could disable access and wipe your phone. F for the iPhone, you could use Find My iPhone. Is that an app? Find My iPhone? So yes. Yeah, so for the iPhone, the app is Find My iPhone. For Android phones, oh. it is Use My Device. No, Find My Device. So yeah. For, is that an app as well then? So for Android phones, it's Find My Device. And for Samsung phones, it's Smart Things Find, which is a really... <laughs> so they've got their own. Yeah. Another important thing to keep in mind is you may access it from another device. So if you lost your iPhone per se, you could use like your Laptop? MacBook to yeah. find your device, but then mm. it will only be able to find it only if the phone has connection to either Wi-Fi or data. Because mm. if that facility is turned off, then you won't be able to access this. So it's really important to wipe your phone as soon as possible, as soon as you notice that your phone might be missing. And, and you, by wiping it, that's wiping it remotely. Then. So then you, so yes, you could wipe your phone remotely, yes. So the second thing to do is to ring your network provider and get the SIM cancelled. So it's really important to get it cancelled so that they won't be able to access the SIM and also charges on your account, oh. like making calls and whatnot. I see. So another really important thing, I think maybe one of the most important things is to make note of the IMEI number. And what is that? Oh. So this is a unique number for for your phone. So my iPhone has a unique IMEI number. You will find this in the settings on the box or by dialing star hash zero six hash. Oh, shall I try it and see? I didn't know it was as easy as that. Also, the police will ask for this number when you file a police report. This isn't going to dial the police now no. or something. So hash zero six no, hash. No? no, the star. Oh, a star. Star hash. Zero six hash. Zero six hash. Oh, it's brought it up an, an IMEI number. So it's not as if you're going to make a call. You're not making a call. Oh, can I do a screenshot of this? I don't think it allows it. Yeah, it does. Okay, fine. Right. Oh, I'll file that away. Okay, so that is a really useful to to remember, mm. I, I believe. So I really think that you need to take precautions when you 
are using your phone while you're out and about because we all do it. We all do it not knowing about the dangers that mm. lurk. And criminals out there don't really care and they want to mm. maybe um, prey on you when you're at your most vulnerable. So yeah. it's really important not to just walk around on the streets like this. I see, I think, I think I see more than half the people that I pass walk around. So what I do is I put my phone in my pocket. I don't look at it. I just keep going. And then when I'm on the tube, then I may or may not do it. But then at least there's like less likelihood of them snatching it. But then snatches can happen. And quite apart from anything else, if you're walking around on your phone, I'm always stuck behind these slow coaches and then they're always on their phone. And I think, what the hell are you doing? I it's like, really, yeah. you know, there's people actually trying to get to work or get to the tube or a bus or a train or something. And you're just like blocking the entire footpath and, by idling along looking at your phone. And I think that if they were to get it stolen, then... It would serve they, them right. So then who would they have to blame? Themselves. You're only to blame for it because you're making yourself an easy target. And I think the moral of this whole episode is to bring awareness of what an epidemic this has become mm. and to prevent it from happening to you out there. So I really hope that you will take it to heart and protect your phone because you have so much data and it's kind of like your own personal computer. But then mm. I think it's really important to not fall victim to everything. Do you know another situation where you've only got yourself to blame? No. If you don't subscribe to our show, isn't that right, Paul? So thank you very much for watching this episode today. For those of you that have liked this episode, give us a thumbs up. For those of you that want to leave a comment, you could do so as well. And for those of you that haven't subscribed already, hit the subscribe button. It will help us with the algorithm and hopefully increase our viewership so that we can continue to bring you the best content out there. Indeed. And if you'd like to buy us a coffee to help us along the way, there is a link in the description. And until next time, we will see you later. Bye bye. 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 Now, I'm going to put my phone <laughs> safely away in my pocket now before someone decides to steal it. Just me. <laughs> <laughs>